Some tell me this upcoming vaccine eligibility is a welcome surprise. Others say it's too little, too late. A day after educators urged the governor to push teachers and staff to the front of the vaccine line. And after the Guilford County School Board voted to send students back to the classroom. Uh, that passes by a vote of eight to one. Governor Cooper says it's time for group three vaccinations. Beginning on February the 24th, the state will expand the eligibility to group three essential workers, starting with educators and school personnel and then expanding to additional Group 3 frontline workers on March the 10th. For us, this, this is great news, a big step in what has been a really uh, long journey. And once we're vaccinated, this is going to be one less thing to worry about in a really, really challenging school year. I was starting to wonder <laughs> if it would happen before the end of the school year. Jillian Steelberg, a GCS first grade teacher, says she's grateful to know she's up next. I will be getting them the second that I can. She's been back in the classroom for a while now, teaching both in person and virtually. But I won't magically fix everything and it's going to take time, um, but I think it's a huge weight off of our shoulders or it will be once we have the vaccine. Sean Beinert, a GCS high school teacher, says um, although it seems the governor's office is listening to teachers, he believes it's not enough and comes too late since most teachers will be back in classrooms and in front of students before getting the second vaccine dose. The ask never gets smaller for teachers. I sort of look at it though with a lot of things in education. It's too little, too late. There are several other careers that fall into this subgroup up first on February 24th. Head to our website for the full list.